ever will, part two. I am reminded of the scripture in John chapter eight and verse three. Now the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman to Jesus taken in the very act of adultery. They said, Master Moses' law says, if anyone caught in adultery is to be stoned, now what do you say? But Jesus stooped down and began to write on the ground. Then Jesus said, he that is without sin among you, let him cast the first stone. And then Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground again. And when he looked up from the elder to the last, they were all gone. Then Jesus said, woman, where are your accusers? Has any man condemned you? She said, no man, Lord. Then Jesus said, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Now you may be an adulterer, fornicator, alcoholic, dope addict, but Jesus does not condemn you either. Or you may have been enticed or forced to have an abortion, or you may have done something in your life that no one knows about. But Jesus knows, and he still loves. Just repent of your sins, and free your guilty conscience. Just bow your head and close your eyes. And then listen, listen, sweet lad. Sweet lad, sweet lad. Jesus is calling. He's calling for you, for you, and especially you. He's still saying, whosoever will, whosoever will let him come. Jesus will forgive you and save your soul. If you will only take it's heed calling. and obey the calling of the Holy Spirit, I am a living witness Jesus will save that Jesus will save your soul. Praise the Lord.